Good afternoon, everybody. Good morning. Good evening. Good whatever it may be. Whenever this video finds you. And I hope it finds you happy, healthy, and not vegan. Nah, I'm just kidding. I don't care what you eat. So long as you don't tell me what I should have on my plate. So, John Venus, because he tends not to do that is one of my favorite YouTube vegans and the reason why I tolerate him and even like him from time to time is because he seems to be more open-minded than your average vegan and I think that comes through in this video a little bit if only because of selfish reasons but then again what do we do that's not selfish Anyway, that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about John Venus going to eat meat again, as he tells you he will, if and only if lab-grown meat becomes available and affordable. And it looks like that just may happen in about a year. Now, I'm not here to give you my thoughts about lab-grown meat, but I will say this much. Doesn't anybody think it's a little bit fucked up? if indeed it does become available within a year or even five that your FDA or whoever governs the food guidelines and what's available in your stores would allow this brand new very much experimental you have to agree product to be sold in your grocery stores on your supermarket shelves yeah because they really care about your health. Where, where are all the clinical trials? Long term, obviously, to make sure that this newly created food, this sci-fi really food, is safe for us. <laughs> forget, forget about healthy and nutritious. Let's start with safe, right? Anyway, moving right along. I found this... Soul searching by John Venus, pretty interesting, if not a little bit incoherent. I mean, the guy is confused for damn sure. And just because I like him, that doesn't mean he's beyond reproach. I mean, he says and has said in the past many times that meat is not healthy, and yet he wants to eat it yet again simply because it will not entail animals dying animals suffering right it's still gonna be meat and if it is to be you know the same or very much similar it's still gonna be unhealthy right john or at the very least you can't be sure that it's gonna be good for you seeing that it's an, a very, very new and experimental kind of food product, right? So if meat is not healthy, why are you trying to eat it? While at the same time telling us you, you know, your goal is to be healthy, to be athletic, and your channel very much focuses on that and nutrition, right? Doesn't make sense. It seems like a contradiction. But then again, and I'm just going to speculate a little bit, John tells us that he's been vegan for about four years, so maybe, probably, could be, he's running into all the same problems a lot of other, I won't even say long term, but vegans that have been so that for about four or five years run into. Is he suffering on his vegan diet like a lot of vegans at around the five year mark? Perhaps? Is he watching all these vegans turn carnivore, change their body composition, and start gaining muscle where before it was very difficult for them to do that? And maybe he's a little bit jealous, even though, I mean, come on, look at the guy, he really shouldn't be, of their ill gotten gains or easily gotten gains? Maybe. Maybe he just loves and misses the taste of meat. Maybe he's been eating meat on the DL. 
and this will give them a good ethical excuse to start keeping it real. Who knows, man? Who knows? But he's definitely, at the very least, not being very coherent here, right? If meat is not healthy, then why are you so excited? And indeed, he is very excited about the prospect of you being able to eat it without hurting any animals, right? It doesn't make any sense. If you've been shitting on meat for so long, saying how bad it is for our health, and you run a health and nutrition and fitness channel, what the hell are you doing trying to reintroduce meat into your diet? Seems very hypocritical, no? Or is John simply just getting tired of veganism? Or maybe he's seeing a new trend popping up and, you know, he wants to jump on the bandwagon early. Make that transition as smooth as possible. To keep the AdSense rolling in, seeing as YouTube veganism is kind of blah. And it just might die. I don't know. It just might. Or at the very least, suffer some heavy, heavy, heavy blows as it has been recently. I don't know. I don't care. I just felt like talking about it a little bit. Because, well... The trend seems to be continuing, no? From carnivore to vegan to carnivore again, right? 360 degrees, baby. Isn't that what all revolutions are? Anyway, I'm done yapping. Thanks for listening.